Hey, Steph. What's up? What are you drinking there? Uh, this is a Manhattan mm-hmm. that you who made that fashioned up. Oh, that was me. All right. Hey, foos. It's uh, it's episode two hundred and fifty-one. Welcome back, and thank you for joining us once again for another uh, fantastic episode, uh, Halloween tastic episode, I guess, of the Foo Bar Show. It's weenie tastic. <sighs> You're welcome. Before we get into anything like that. Get yourself your own very own FUBAR Show merch at FUBARSHOW.com. Find all kinds of items like t-shirts, totes, travel mugs, magnets, and baby onesies in tons of colors and styles. Go to our merch page found at FUBARSHOW.com to check that all out. Next up, click on the link for SoCal Rock Band, The Fallen Electric, at the bottom of FUBARSHOW.com for music, tour dates, and merch. On Saturday, November 6th, I will be at Canyon Inn in your Belinda, California, playing with the Fallen Electric from 9.30 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. Free to enter 21 and over and a full bar available for you to properly enjoy an evening with the Fallen Electric. And lastly, Grass Store, everybody. One of the best cannabis delivery services I've ever dealt with, bar none. They service L.A., Orange County, and select parts of the Inland Empire in Southern California. Go to foobarshow.com and check at check out our grass store banner and first time users get 30% off of their purchase. Thanks to those who click on our banner and show us some love. Uh we we're seeing that love come through. We don't know who you are, but god damn it, write us in. Tell us what you're buying. That'd be cool. We can talk about that on the show too. So, uh, you know how to get us. You know how to get a hold of us. Fucking douchebags. All right. All right, staff, you ready for episode 251? <clears throat> Um, you know, I'm feeling a little heartburn. So we're not doing this anymore? Might have been some indigestion. What did we eat? Um, we ate some, some chicken. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am on my second drink, so maybe it's... So, uh, <laughs> uh, <coughs> you're all right? <laughs> Should we stop recording right now? Uh, 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 oh, oh, shit, what's happening? Uh, what the uh, fuck? Uh, <laughs> Martini Studios in Ontario, California. It's the Fubar Show. Hey, what is up, everyone? I am Tosi. That's Steph. Thank y'all very much for listening to the Fubar Show. Thanks for hitting subscribe and remember to rate, review, and tell your friends like a champ. You can always get in touch with us and get our merch at foobarshow.com. That's F double O bar show.com and search F double O bar show on YouTube, Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. Check us out, drop us a line, and we'll foo it up like a couple of foos. Ain't that right, Steph? That's right. Yeah. And I've got a little present for you. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, an alien just burst out of your chest there. That's right. He's so, um, yeah, you're, uh, you're very method with the way you went about that. Yeah. <laughs> You've been wearing that for hours. No. Uh, yeah, this is uh, supposed to be the Halloween episode of the Foo Bar Show, only because we're recording it on Halloween itself. Yeah, uh, that's about it. Now, the spirit of Halloween isn't as alive as, as it used to be, and I blame COVID on that. Uh, on top of that, I blame I blame it on us just getting old. <laughs> you know, the only bit, the only reason the only reason we associate ourselves with Halloween as much as we do is just because of all the alcohol involved. Yes, and all the festivities that go about that kind of thing. Well, right? at, th- at this point, yeah, um, I'm still excited to see what costumes people come up with. Yeah, that's still you saw some last night. I played a show last night in your Belinda uh, at at the Canyon Inn, and there were some people dressed with some, you know, clever costumes. Yeah, I mean, you had the usual like pirates. There was definitely Jack Sparrow. There was another Mm. pirate there. Um, There was some easy costumes, some pullover costumes like the Fred Flintstone. Yeah, there was a uh, Buzz Lightyear who, which was a bikini and it actually glowed in the dark. So I was pretty impressed with that. That's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. Kudos yeah. for you. A couple devils yeah. running around. There was one who was like a storm, uh-huh. and she had put clouds, like cotton balls, okay. like an actual storm. And then there was like a lightning bolt headdress that she was wearing. You didn't have to explain it, right? You, so, just by looking at so, her, you can tell what it was. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So she's not Storm from X Men. No, she's a literal storm. Storm. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. She could have just gotten the the storm outfit for the X Men, no? Uh, well, I don't think you would really know. Well, if if it was the animated one, yes, you would know. 
But the more modern ones, everybody wears the same thing. It's all like that black leotard with the X. Right. I I, it is it is know. cheaper. It yeah. is cheaper to go that way. I was Jubilee. You were Jubilee. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. what uh, you've been Jubilee before. Now, one thing that I keep telling you that you have to was uh, you have to add like a, a little comedic flair to your Jubilee costume. I know. And I've been saying, you know, like Jubilee has the uh, is it a hot pink shirt? Hot t- pink shirt, uh, yellow jacket. It's usually a yellow trench coat, but yeah. I went with like a, a leather just a jacket. Leather jacket. It's nice. It's a nice yellow leather jacket. It's like uh, it's like a mustard yellow, but it's really nice. Yeah, it's not in your face yellow. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, what I keep saying is for you to get a yarmulke, <laughs> the same color as the fucking t-shirt, put it on you, and then you could be Jubilee. Yeah. I think it would get laughs left and right. I think... Even from our Jewish friends. It would be funnier if I was Jewish. You keep saying that, but that's part of the irony. No, I just... I, I, I wouldn't feel right. All right. I wouldn't feel right. I'm just saying... So anyway, that was that was last night. Okay. And so today I am one of the crew members from Nostromo from the alien, the first alien movie that sadly did not make it. Right. Because I've got a chest burster. Yeah, the chest burster killed him. It's my gift to you. And slowly <laughs> it will turn into a face hugger and implant itself into your face. I hope so. so. I hope so for this podcast sake. Um. Anyway, uh, we uh, we were missing Josh. We're missing Josh because he had something to do. He had to study for some uh, test for a job he's trying to get with the county. Yeah, he was busy dressing up his dogs as Batman <laughs> and Robin, <laughs> and apparently the dogs did not like that. Uh, based on the picture that he sent us, uh, they they looked very depressed about their state of existence in that very moment. That poor sure. dog. And, uh, and I hope he dies of the incurable condition of being a little bitch. Yeah, and that, and then there's. <laughs> <laughs> then there's that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, another thing with Halloween, as I was describing at the beginning, was that we got some trick or treaters, right? Right. Uh, despite the fact that the majority of the lights in our house were off because uh, we forgot to get candy, much less we and we actually didn't think we'd get trick or treaters, considering the circumstances. Not only is our neighborhood quite boring, I yeah. don't really see too many children out anyway. Well, that's the whole reason I just didn't buy candy i purposely didn't buy candy because mm. the last couple years we've gotten maybe one or two and even then it's like it's not it doesn't justify me buying a whole bag of candy just to give to like two groups that you're just going to end up eating for the rest of the year yeah 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 essentially yeah. so we just x nade the candy and uh and it was what just one group of children that pulled up right i felt like it was one group that went in different pairs <laughs> Like it was a big group and they yeah. each like broke off into like different pairs and came up to the house. Oh, okay. And I had to tell them, no, there's no candy. We don't have any candy. And they were kind of still waiting there. <laughs> like candy, like, please. lady, the candy I at need, once. I need the candy. Can you put the candy in my bag? Open the door and give me some candy. It's like, right. there's no candy here. <laughs> and then one of the kids, the audacity. Oh. What are you teaching these kids? She gave me like the stink eye. This girl could not have been older than seven years old. Mm-hmm. She gave me the face like, excuse me, there's no candy? There's no candy? <laughs> How what dare do you, you? Do you know what day How it is? How dare you? You are a terrible human being for not giving the kids some candy. We had candy lying around the house. You could have just, but... We ha- you, okay, but we, have, we have four pieces of candy. Okay, and that's they, one each. There was like 10 kids. Okay, they can share. Okay. <laughs> I, was t- oh, I was telling you this earlier, like I wanted to do... For next Halloween, yeah, I want to dress up as a lunch lady and just have a tray of lasagna, <laughs> and then anytime somebody opens the door, just hot fresh lasagna. I'm just scoop it in and, and put it, slam in, their it in their bags. Yeah, yeah. here's your trick, kids. What was it? Oh, that the wedding singer. Two scoops for you. You're too skinny. What was that? That that was that scene in the wedding singer with the meatballs, right? Right, right. One of his uh. His clients couldn't pay him in cash, so she paid him in meatball. That was so cute. And she was like, she she really wanted him to take a bite out of it, so he took a bite out of it. And she was so happy that she put her hands on top of the meatballs, which were in his hands, and <laughs> squished them down. Oh, that yeah. movie's so good. So now we're pariahs in the neighborhood. Cunt. Uh, yeah. 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 So <laughs> uh, don't be surprised if this house is covered in, uh, in eggs and eggshells in the morning. 
because you wouldn't give these kids some candy, Steph. What the hell? Candy's not cheap anymore. It's not. Oh. What's that about now? Right. Yeah. Huge uh, uh, you know, um, I don't know what's worse because knowing you, you probably would have gotten a bag of like candy corn, loose candy corn, and provided them with some of that. Uh, so which which Quite. is worse, not getting anything or getting a small bag of uh, a, a small Ziploc bag, nay, a small cocaine baggie of candy corn? Well, the joke's on you because I actually like candy corn. So I would. You're in a mind, minority. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't mind candy corn. Um, but on the contrary, I actually do give out good candy bars mm. full size candy bars you wouldn't know it if you came to the house this year though nope but you know via the old house i would give out full size candy bar so you know they missed out this year also we don't have enough kids and i'm not gonna spend all that money on a box of full size candy bar for 10 kids and i hope he dies of the incurable condition of being a little bitch <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right, so today we're doing something a little different. Uh, we're not uh, we're not doing the whole fucking show. It's not because we're missing Josh. It's because we're lazy, and uh, a lot of it has to do. You know, at this time of the year, we start dwindling down the season. It's uh, it's supposed to be where you know a lot of uh, podcasts, TV shows, series, they tend to ramp up their production when it comes to their season finale. Not the Foo Bar Show. Oh. Not the Foo Bar Show. We don't do that kind of bullshit at the Foo Bar Show. No, we wind down. We wind down with alcohol with some cherries in it. Uh, anything because uh, that's that's the fiber we're getting today, and uh, and uh, and we just disappear. You know, I think yeah. Uh, I think in season one and two, we just uh, stopped at like Thanksgiving. Season three, which was last year, um, we were taught a very important lesson by not continuing the show after Thanksgiving because we almost got COVID at the end of the year. Remember All that right. shit? <laughs> that was, I think it was, wasn't it after Christmas? We were really trying to power through. Yeah, no, we were powering through. I think we might have taken like a, we took Thanksgiving weekend off. I you think we even took Christmas listen off. Listen to me. And then we ended up doing one final show just days, maybe a day or two before the end of the year. And we had G Baby on. We did a, we did a Podzilla. It was like a three hour ordeal. It was a thing. And then, uh, it, you know, what it was it like January 2nd or 3rd, G-Baby hits us up and he's just like, hey, guys, you guys all may have COVID. So <laughs> we're like, fuck. Fuck, I was pissed. We dude. were all pretty upset. And, you know, we've talked about it. We've had him on once and we may have him again in a couple of weeks. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, just to, you know, just to just to see how he's been, uh, what he's been up to. But um that that was uh so, all right enough with the chest burster nobody all right so if nobody. you want to check out this chest burster uh you can go on our youtube or instagram however you consume us visually um but anyway all right steph so we're the what's on tap today is a health and such by steph yes uh the geeking out which is the core of the show and some music highlights so you want to just get into uh health and such yes all right we'll be right back <laughs> Health and Such is brought to us by III, the first ever urology and optometry practice, all in one. Make your appointment today. Wow. You know, that could be very tricky. Well, because, how's that? You know, if you don't wash your hands, you can get pink eye. <laughs> 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 well, there, I mean, there's supposed to be a comma in between these IIIs. Yeah, get that yeah. third eye checked out, everybody. It's very important. Specifically, now that we're uh, what we're celebrating, are we celebrating or observing Prostate Month? So November is mm -hmm. uh, it's an awareness. It's awareness. It's an awareness month for prostate cancer. Trust me, I'm aware it's there. So I believe we mentioned this on the podcast. I think it's reoccurring, like every year. I'll mention this on the podcast. So mo, yeah. it's Movember, right? So you pretty much. Don't shave, and whatever money that you were going to use on shaving products, go ahead and donate that to a uh, prostate cancer awareness group. Or you can just shave and donate anyway. Yeah, or if you can you, do that. <laughs> if you hold some kind of uh, job that requires you to look a certain way. Yeah, and generally speaking, like if you haven't seen the doctor all year, or you, you know, it's including last year. If you uh, skipped it because of, you know, you were in quarantine, you didn't want to go out. I mean, now would be 
a good time to actually go visit your doctor, get a checkup. Mm -hmm. November, December is usually the busiest time for physicians because uh, a lot of people's insurance is also going to end at the end of the year. Yeah. And it, you know, begins January 1st, essentially. And people with flexible spending accounts want to get their money in before they... they right. The so, yeah. you know, just get a checkup. It's probably going to cost you like a small copay if you have insurance. 20 bucks. And if you don't bucks, have insurance, maybe. start looking into that. There's affordable options out there for you. Yeah, because this um, country isn't looking to get into uh, universal health care anytime soon. So just uh, take care of your <laughs> shit, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Keep your body clean. <laughs> Uh, but that's not what I really want to talk about. I have a couple stories here for you. Oh, you and actually have content. Yeah. Oh, right. I'm I actually... thought we were going to talk about prostates. I thought this was going in a very different direction, Steph. Well, why did I bring these toys? You know, there's a lot of, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. You know what? I'm actually a little relieved. I forgot the lube. <gasps> oh, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. You know, they reach pretty deep in there to try to feel around. Okay. Anyway, not what I want to talk about. So, oh, okay. Anymore, I really. have a couple stories for you. So, one of them is, um, what do you think is the most unhygienic part of the bathroom? Just off the top of your head. Uh, I mean, most people would venture to guess the rim of your toilet. The rim of the toilet. The rim of the toilet. Um, not the seat of not the toilet, the but the, the porcelain rim of the toilet, which gets a lot of the splashback. Right. Yeah. So that's one of the dirtier things. Okay. Also, if you have a shower curtain, mm. that's another uh, biohazard zone because a lot of times people, when they get out of the shower, don't open up the shower curtain to let it dry. So when it's folded accordion style, then all of that water kind of sinks in In other words, there. closing it so that it's stretched out, right? Right? Right. Okay. So you need, yeah, you need to... Open it. Open it? Open. You mean close it. Well, yeah, I guess if it's you're looking... You got to close it. You got to extend it. You, you got you to tell okay, the people... Okay, you're extending it. Uh -huh. Let's call it that. Because yeah. when I think of opening it, I'm just... You're you're literally no, expanding it. You're That's expanding what I think it. of it. Well, then say expanding. Yeah, but I'm thinking that, oh, you're opening the shower curtain. No, you're closing the shower curtain. But no... You're, you're, you're forbidding access into the bathtub... Unless you actually bump into the shower curtain on mm. the way in mm -hmm. like a fucking animal. Mm -hmm. No, you're closing the shower curtain, Steph. That's not the way my brain thinks, though. Well, that explains a lot, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. And I hope he dies of the incurable condition of being a little bitch. I, I just like that drop. <laughs> <laughs> That's the theme of the day. Yeah, Josh. That is actually... Two good examples, but the most unhygienic thing in the bathroom is the sink. Is the toothbrush. Oh, okay. Well, where are you putting this toothbrush? Well, we were talking about prostates, and I'm not taking that box out anymore. <laughs> so it's actually the sink, the, the place where you get rid of all the germs, and you actually want to clean the Why sink. Why is that? Because Be it's the wettest? It's... It gets used more often than the shower. Okay. Most likely if you, um, most likely the toilet, you know, things flush out of it. And sometimes people have the actual, uh, what is it? The, the bleach tablet yeah. that goes onto the, the tank of the toilet. Ah. So there's, you know, that method. So okay. that's why it's like less, uh, right. chance for being unsanitary. Okay. But there's still shit in it. So you just want to beware. Mm -hmm. You should always... Close the lid and then flush the toilet. Because of the particles yes. that fly up in the We the all air. know, but yeah, we don't do who it. Who cares? But the sink, <laughs> that's where you wash all the poop off your hands, all the dirt off your hands. You know, if you. If you is there, you is there copious the amounts of poop that are like under your fingernails at the end of your sessions? No. You make it seem like there's globs. No, it like just, you, that's like just, you ran it, out of TP. Like, I, like I said, it's and you just the most it all out. frequently used item yeah. in the bathroom is the sink and everything kind of just pulls into the sink bowl. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't notice that that builds up. So it's not only, like, even though you're killing like all the viruses and bacteria, there's a biofilm that starts creeping from the pipe into the actual bowl. Okay. So if you drop something in there like a 
contact or if you, for whatever reason, drop your toothbrush. Holy shit, I've dropped my contacts <laughs> on the sink before. <laughs> And if you don't wash Am it I out gonna properly, die? no. If you're just gonna get, you can get pink eye. Oh God! If you don't wash it out properly, then you can essentially be picking up whatever bacteria is on the sink and then putting it on your face. And uh, one of the articles that I was reading online said that a lot of people wash their mask in the sink mm. with before they disinfect the sink. Jesus. So you, you're washing your mask in the dirty sink, even though you're killing all the viruses, you might pick up whatever bacteria is from the sink. Like, especially if you soak it mm. first, plug the drain, soak it, scrub it out, wash it. Viruses are dead, but then you get the sink bacteria to put it on your face. Is it So instead of getting a virus, you're going to get a bacterial infection. Right. Which so could we're cause, all going to die. Which could cause we're all going to die? <laughs> Yeah, but just not right away. You know, jeez. Oh, most of us will probably live another 40, 50 years. Oh. Yeah. What if you were to die of the incurable condition of being a little bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long that takes. Okay. Yeah, so, so uh, you know, more of the story, ladies and gentlemen, and non-binary people. Um, I like wash, how inclusive you've become. <laughs> wash... <laughs> Because apparently people start yelling. Um, mm. Wash the sink, then wash whatever it is you have to wash. And that is story number one. Okay. Story number two is, uh, I'm going to ask you a question again. What do you think? Do you think that is it is a good idea for you to take a shower in your bathroom during a thunderstorm? I never would have thought that that was a topic of discussion. Now, something would lead me to believe that there is some fuckery afoot and that that is a very loaded question. And now I'm intrigued. Well, the, the, the main reason why I wanted to talk about this was a couple of weeks ago, we did have that thunderstorm and there was lightning striking like every 15 seconds, mm. which is so unusual for California, but not unusual for the other states because California is a desert right. and we don't see any weather. Well, Southern California is a desert. Well, yes, That's... Southern California. Northern California is a whole different country. Right. We don't talk about Northern world. California. We don't talk about them. We, no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, some people, you know, some people, I think from like Reno, where, you know, the place where they try to remain relevant. Uh, and, you know, whenever I refer to Reno, usually I think the, the correct way to pronounce Reno is Reno. <laughs> and um, Reno. So, some people from Reno... Uh, refer to their area of Central California as SenCal. And it just sounds like a fucking supplement. Are you talking about Reno? Yeah. No, not Reno. Real Fresno. Fresno. Yeah. Fres I'm talking. Oh, wow. This alcohol is kicking in. Fresno. Fresno. Reno is in Nevada. Mm -hmm. Oh, do we have a Reno, California? Though? Mm, we might, but it's, it's not like Reno, Nevada. Who cares? Yeah. Anyway. Wow. The answer to my question is, uh, no, you should not. All right. Well, that's our show. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. Yeah. What? So anyway, the reason why you should not take a shower during a thunderstorm is because there might be an off chance that lightning will strike your house. And since most of the plumbing is now made out of copper... It'll travel through the pipes, conduct through the water, and electrocute you. If so, you're so lucky. Right? <laughs> yeah. Which Maybe actually, you know, it that is like a very rare chance that that would happen. Although, you know, 75,000 people per year do report lightning damage to their house. Not necessarily in California, but just, you know, throughout the U.S. Oh, Okay. So lightning does damage, especially if it hits the electrical and goes through the appliances like your microwave mm. bus or the I coffee maker or something like that. Surges through the house. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. Also, oh. you should never do roofing in a thunderstorm too, but you know, that's just common sense. Like, why would you do that? Do people do that? Apparently people do that. That they, there they needs to be a disclaimer. Roofing? Oh, so somebody did it yeah. once. Yeah. It's like it's like it's Homer going, once. Hey, because of me. Now there's a warning label. Yeah. 
What kind of douchebag is roofing in the middle of a thunderstorm? Well, because you can... Like with the hot tar and everything? You can see... And the see, shingles? I think their theory is that you can see the clouds coming and you're just like, oh, okay, maybe I have just a few more minutes to get this one section done. And then all of a sudden, that few minutes passes because you're in the zone and now you're stuck in the middle of a thunderstorm. And then the fucking lightning hits you. It's science. Who knows? Uh, well, now you know, everybody. Check that shit out. Anyway, those are your, your foo facts and health and such for the episode. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! All right. Well, that was health and such, everybody. We, you know, we don't really get too many of those, but uh, we try to just squeeze out all the juice we can out of them while they're here. Everybody stick around for Geeking Out. We'll be right back. 